What's up guys? Nate Dog FPV here. Today we're going to be looking at flight footage from Pensacola FPV Racers uh, race 3 of the 2018 season. So for this race we actually set up a regional qualifier track. Uh, our chapter has our regional qualifier coming up in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to give everyone the opportunity to get some more practice on that track. Uh, so we went ahead and just did that track for our third race of the season. Uh, I started off in the practice rounds using my 5 inch quads and I was averaging around 35 to 32 second laps uh, and I also wanted to try my 3 inch baby hawk uh, so I actually switched to that also during practice and I was actually averaging around 31 to 29 second laps with a 3 inch baby hawk and really I think that's because I can just handle the corners a little bit tighter with the baby hawk I can you know keep a more consistent throttle uh, with the 5 inch quads I was tending to kind of overshoot the gates a little bit and overshoot the split S's and things like that uh, so I actually ended up running the 3 inch Baby Hawk for all 5 heats during the actual race. I uh, did pretty well. Uh, luckily I was able to take first place for our novice class. Uh, so definitely uh, thrilled with that. We started off with 6 pilots in the novice class. Unfortunately we had a few um, pilots that had quad issues or things broke before we were able to finish. So we actually ended up um, at the end of the race, end of the novice race, we only had 3 pilots left of course. Uh, but again it was still a great time. Had a great time flying. So we'll look at the flight footage from each of the heats and kind of talk about that as we go through. And hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so here we go, kicking off heat one. Uh, so there we see Darkstar FPV, or Daniel, gets a good jump, uh, good hole shot, so gets out in front of me there. Coming up on the first turn here, almost caught up to him. Trying to be careful here, don't want to get into a collision. Going to the corkscrew, and unfortunately it did hit me there. Tried to save it, could not actually uh, get my orientation back, so ended up crashing. So here we're kicking in turtle mode. Luckily I have the shark fin on top of the baby hawk, so that makes turtle mode pretty easy. So we get it flipped back over, I'm trying to get back into it now. Uh, of course at this point I know he's out in front of me quite a ways, and I'd still like to get four laps on this heat, so definitely pushing it. I'm trying to uh, at least get four laps on this heat. So you can see him right in front of me there, so I'm getting close. Uh, we're going to try to make a move and pass him soon without getting into a collision, hopefully. Almost another collision there. I think here I was able actually to get around him and stay out in front of him at this point. Uh, still working on the corkscrew. That's one of my probably my slowest parts on this track. I uh, have not mastered the corkscrew yet, so I'm obviously just going through, doing a quick yaw spin to uh, to navigate that section. But definitely, definitely losing a couple of seconds right there. Uh, so here we're staying on track, trying to keep it going so we can at least get four laps. Definitely see watching back on the video here that I'm taking a lot of the turns too wide, swinging out uh, past the gates too far before making the turns. Uh, something I've been working on, but definitely that's a hard habit to break, especially when you're flying and in the heat of the moment. Uh, it's hard to you know keep that in, in the front of your mind that you need to make those turns faster, but it's something I'm working on. Uh, of course, need a lot of practice on the corkscrew as well to be able to navigate that faster. finish luckily I was able to actually get the four laps uh, so again I feel like I can get five on this track with the baby hawk is what I'm shooting for but obviously with a crash there I'm happy with four so here we are kicking off heat two uh, once again Dark Star FPV gets a good jump off the line gets out in front of me so at this point I'm just trying to stay consistent started overcorrecting a little bit there so I tried to uh, relax a little bit get back control and stop overcorrecting uh, here you can see we're still close at that point. I believe here I was able to overtake him and uh, stay out in front. So at this point I'm trying to focus on getting five laps. Uh, on the first heat I was probably uh, quite, quite a way short because of the crash. But I feel like I can get five if I can just maintain a good pace. Obviously we have the timer running while we're racing as well so I can hear my times being called out you know, and averaging around. Uh, on my better laps, you know, 31, 32 second laps. So I know 
Uh, I've got to pick it up by at least a few seconds to have a chance of getting five laps, so that's what I'm focusing on now. Uh, still at this point though, only averaging around 31 second laps. Again, we're just trying to maintain the pace, stay consistent. Don't really have any other quads around me at this point. So I'm just trying to stay clean and not crash. And of course there, I clip a gate. Unfortunately crash, so once again we've got a turtle mode to get it flipped back over. And finish up the corkscrew and keep going. So obviously, you know, with the at the rate I'm flying, any crash on this track is gonna kill my chance of being able to get five laps. Uh, so it looks like this time we're probably gonna be picking up another four and missing that five lap opportunity again. Baby Hawk definitely uh, flew great on this course though and again I tried my 5 inch quad I was actually getting better times with the Baby Hawk I think simply because I can navigate the turns a little bit better and um, just I'm not overpowering it the whole time like I do with my 5 inch quad so I'm just able to get a little better times with the Baby Hawk but it definitely handles the course well again running the 3 inch Baby Hawk with the HQ uh, 3 inch props so here we are finishing up heat two uh, again because of that crash we missed out on our five laps so we ended up with four again there kicking off heat three here uh, once again dark star gets a good jump on me i believe he actually had some issues with his quad at this point yeah i think we just saw him sitting on the ground there uh, he's having some battery issues or some kind of connection issue where his uh, quad wasn't getting full power so unfortunately, I believe on the next few heats, he's going to be uh, not getting very far off the line. So at this point, again, we're focusing on getting the five laps, trying to maintain a, a good pace to be able to get there. I'm looking for the 29, 28 second laps. I think at this point I was getting closer to around 30 second laps, but still need to pick up the pace just a bit to, uh, to have a chance of getting five laps. starting to work on making those turns tighter, uh, taking that split S a little bit faster, trying to make the turn on the corkscrew a little bit faster. Uh, so slowly trying to correct where I'm uh, adding more time by, uh, by turning too far, turning too wide. Yeah, the hurdle definitely one of the, uh, one of the weirdest parts of this track as well. Uh, I kind of have to take that section slow and just kind of slowly let it come down. Uh, but that has been one of the tougher sections of this track for me, I'm getting used to that hurdle and going, uh, doing it in a curve. So here again, I feel like our uh, my pace is pretty good. Not quite, I feel like I'm quite at a five laps pace yet, but getting close. Again, at this point, averaging around 30 second laps. there I uh, was not able to finish in time so I ended up with another four laps uh, of course that was a clean run so I wasn't too far short of getting there uh, but just a little short that time so here we are kicking off heat four uh, once again Dark Star did get a jump on me but again I believe he had quad issues uh, in the first lap so I don't believe we'll see him again so I'm out there pretty much on my own at this point I think we have one other pilot in the air at this point Definitely this time, I know I'm running out of chances to get the five laps, so definitely pushing as hard as I can trying to get there. I believe on this heat I actually did get some uh, 29 second laps, so knowing I was getting there, I definitely wanted to keep pushing, uh, and not only push at the end, but push at the beginning too. I tend to have a bad habit of kind of maintaining a slower pace at the beginning or the first minute of the race, and then... Uh, towards the last minute I'll actually start picking up speed and you know trying to get there um, but it's something I'm working on also is pushing myself through the entire heat um, 
through the whole two minutes and trying to maintain a good pace the entire time. Almost just saw a near collision there. I believe we just passed the other pilot. Uh, and again, got real close there, so luckily we avoided that crash. Yeah, you can definitely see I'm trying to navigate the corkscrew quicker, uh, get through the split as faster. About the baby hawk. Oh, well, there's another crash. Uh, so, again, trying to push it, get that pace to, uh, to be able to get five laps, and unfortunately caught the start gate there. Uh, had a crash, so again, we're going to have the turtle mode uh, just to finish this heat. Luckily, I was able to continue with turtle mode, so we should be able to get our four laps, but unfortunately, not going to be able to get five. But I was saying one of the great things about the Baby Hawk is uh, I can pretty much maintain a consistent throttle on this track the entire time. As with a 5 inch quad, there's a lot of up and down on the throttle, speeding up, slowing down. Uh, with the Baby Hawk, I'm able to really you know, maintain a pretty consistent throttle. Uh, and that definitely helps with, uh, with being consistent. Of course, we just passed our other pilot there, kind of went low on that gate to try to avoid a collision. And here we are kicking off heat 5. So I know this is my last opportunity to, uh, to actually be able to get five laps, so trying to maintain a good pace here. Again, on the last heat, we had some 29 second laps, so I know it's possible. I know I can do it. So just trying to focus on it this time and make it happen. I definitely see I'm pushing the throttle uh, more on this heat, trying to really go as fast as I can. first lap I believe we had a 29 second lap there we got all the way on the second lap trying to maintain that pace also definitely feel like I'm navigating the corkscrew faster trying to make that split S turn faster also uh, so at this point looking pretty good I believe that was actually a 28 second lap, uh, so definitely getting faster. I know that I'm maintaining the pace I need to be able to get five laps this time, uh, but the main thing, uh, like I said, is just going to be pushing it through the entire heat and staying on the throttle. Definitely looking better on the corkscrew and the split S. I believe we had another 28 second lap, so at this point I know I'm a few seconds ahead. So if I can maintain the pace on this lap, I should be able to get five laps. Again, at this point I know it's my last opportunity, so I'm pushing as hard as I can push. Got a little wide on the corkscrew there, so I'm trying to pick it up again. Definitely you can see I'm pushing it as hard as I can right here. Straight line for the start gate. Luckily I was able to pass through. Uh, before time expired, I believe I had a few seconds left, so I'm actually on that fifth lap now. So again, thrilled to, uh, to actually be able to get there and start that fifth lap. Uh, at this point, uh, obviously no point in rushing it, so just trying to be consistent, take my time, make sure I don't crash out, uh, and I'll be able to get that fifth lap. And coming in, and there's the fifth lap. Alright guys, so you've seen it. That's the race footage from our third race of the 2018 season. Uh, again, had a great time at this one. Ended up taking first place. Uh, so my, of course my best heats were a four lap, four lap and then actually five laps on the last heat. I uh, was definitely thrilled to get five laps with the Baby Hawk. Um, you know, I felt like the whole time I was getting close to getting there, but not quite there. Just missing it by a few seconds each time. So it was really great on that last heat to actually get five laps on that track. Uh, of course, I know I'm, you know, not going to be qualifying with the really fast guys out there. I know there's uh, pilots out there getting six and seven laps on that track, no problem. Uh, but for me, getting five five laps with the Baby Hawk is still an accomplishment, you know, and showing improvement as a pilot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one.